hey, stick around. I'm going to show you how to create a crazy cool custom cursor. And I'm done alliterating. Maybe. Hey everyone, my name is Artindi, and this is another Godot game engine tutorial. And this time, I'm showing you one of the more useful things that I've learned, and that is how to marvelously mess with the mouse. Actually, I'm going to change the order a little bit on this one. I'm going to show you the how to do it first, and then show you why it can be useful to know after. You're going to need something that you'll be changing the cursor to. For this example, I'm going to be making a sprite. If you make your own thing, be sure that it's obvious where the actual place you are clicking is. If it is cursor styled, then that will be in the upper left hand corner, like all the way, or in the very center of your sprite, depending on the position of your cursor. Um, and if you're making crosshairs, it should be in the center. Okay, now you're going to go to your scene node and you're going to add some script and just delete all this garbage that you don't need on the outsides of there. And the following bit of code you're going to put in the ready function because the ready function is run once just to set up the scene. And you're going to put input dot set mouse mode. Feel free to use the drop down autofill. It's very useful. I'm glad Godot has that. Set mouse mode brackets input with a capital I dot mouse mode hidden. And you can see all the drop down options right there in the autofill close brackets. Now the mouse is still there, it's just invisible. If this is all you were trying to do, then congrats, you have achieved success. Import your sprite and add it as a child node to the scene node. Open the scene node script, the one you just created, and add a process function. This type of function will run every frame of the game rather than just once, like the ready function. Inside this function, you will type the dollar sign this allows you to access the attributes of child nodes. Type in the name of the sprite you just added, dot position, because we want to change the position of the sprite every frame of the game. And now we will assign the sprite the position of the mouse like this. The sprite's position will be equal to whatever the mouse position is currently. Be sure to set the correct offset depending on if your custom cursor is set in the top left hand corner or if it's centered like crosshairs. But once you have that finished, you're all done. But now I'm going to show you some reasons why it's useful to learn all of this. First, there's the obvious reason. You have a custom cursor now and you don't have the tackiness of the regular one. Second, this line of code is great for debugging. For example, when I was making shadows, I wanted to make sure it was working and see it in action in game. Rather than adding all the code needed to move something around with the arrow keys or something, I could just add this bit of code and quickly be able to move the light around with my mouse. Plus, with some creativity, you can add a lot to your game. And with this excellent, entertaining exhibition of education, Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. I love feedback, so feel free to leave a comment or even shoot me an email. Um, I'll even take criticism, whatever it is. And if there's anything you'd like for me to learn so I can make a tutorial on it, please let me know. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.